energetic, versatile, relentless, preemptive. That's what we at Millennium IT ESP stand for. Millennium IT ESP has been around for 27 years now. Uh, we are a complete enterprise solutions provider servicing almost all the industries in Sri Lanka uh, from pretty much all the banks, all the telcos, a lot of public sector work, a lot of manufacturing sector work um, and we thrive on delivering turnkey technology projects. If you look at some of the largest, most complex projects that have been delivered in Sri Lanka, Millennium IT has had some role to play starting with the technology infrastructure, maybe the servers, the, the, the on-premise infrastructure, the cloud infrastructure, the connectivity, uh, the software applications, the automation around it, um, and right down to the support and the managed services uh, uh, that get delivered as part of the turnkey solution. We have a very skillful uh, team uh, uh, with all the certifications, uh, with all the uh, global technology giants, uh, from infrastructure to applications to support. Um, and with an increasing footprint now uh, from Sri Lanka, going into the regions as well, working with more than 10 plus countries uh, and engaging with partners and principals likewise. I suppose, as with all companies, uh, we start up the year with a lot of expectations, with a lot of plans. Um, last year, we launched a, a very significant, a very aggressive three-year strategy. And uh, come this year, uh, March this year, we had made very significant progress uh, on that plan as well. But with the economic crisis looming, uh, we had to make some very quick decisions uh, to help us navigate this crisis and make sure that we weather the storm and get through this very effectively. Um, being a company uh, very much reliant on the Sri Lankan ecosystem, uh, very much reliant on the LKR, very much reliant on, on the interest rates uh, due to the import and the reseller business that we were in, um, we had to make some very conscious calls in terms of how we change some of the strategies that we had deployed then uh, and which also meant that we work very aggressively now to reduce the dependency that we have on the Sri Lankan ecosystem, on, on the LKR and so on. So we deployed some strategies uh, coming into the year uh, much faster than we would have otherwise uh, where we focused a lot on our international business. We launched our own channel partner model uh, where we had a couple of models where we had referral partners uh, uh, we onboarded partners who brought, can bring us leads from anywhere in the world around the portfolios that we carry. We started partnering with other technology companies, other software companies, product companies, uh, systems integrators where we looked at complementing each other's portfolios uh, to take uh, a much wider offering to market. And these strategies really helped us uh, to help navigate this crisis uh, and, and increase our, our dollar revenues which was much needed to help us sustain this crisis as well. Safe to say and very confidently I can say that we are getting out of this very successfully now. And I think it's, um, uh, I must thank the team uh, as well because it was a very uh, stressful uh, time as well for the entire company uh, going through this because we had to go beyond, we had to change our mindset, we had to be very open, we had to be very confident in terms of how we navigate the situation uh, and, and get through this. But we came out very resilient and this is where we have the, where the experience counts and this is where you know, having people who have been around for a long time, Padang Vichakatti in a company. So uh, through all that, we, we, we were able to navigate this crisis and, and get to where we are now. Despite all the challenges that we faced as a company, I think there are a lot of milestones to boast about as well. First of them being uh, establishing Millennium IT uh, ESP Singapore uh, as a hub for global business, where we now enter into our principal agreements, customer agreements, uh, partner agreements. Um, and even all our banking relationships out of Singapore, which in a lot of ways de-risk ourselves, de-risk our partners, principals, all of them um, from the ongoing situation in Sri Lanka as well, and which has helped us in our growth story uh, this year. Uh, in addition to that, of course, I think we are very proud to say that we went over 500 people as a company, um, and it's a very significant milestone for us. Uh, working with principals, uh, we enhanced our portfolios as we start onboarding new principals as well. We, we engage with Salesforce for the first time uh, when we are offering Salesforce services now in Sri Lanka and also in the region. Um, we started, we, we got some enhanced partnerships with, for example, Amazon uh, to provide Amazon advanced services. And that is also very significant. So as we keep on enhancing our portfolio, we'll be adding more and more onto this as well. Um, we also kept our track record uh, that we built up over the years of uh, winning so many partner awards and very significant partner awards as well. So this year as well we won uh, uh, several uh, partner of the awards with uh, several very significant principles and we are very proud of that as well. Um, 
And lastly, um, I also want to mention Bangladesh uh, as, a, as a second international office that we just established a few weeks ago. We see a significant opportunity in Bangladesh, but at the same time we uh, see opportunity to provide our portfolio and our services into Bangladesh. So that's something that we'll, we'll be looking forward to. Uh, along with many more milestones to come um, as we as we uh, get into the next financial year now. I think, I think the most significant highlight was uh, Millennium IT participating in, in developing the Fuel Pass app for Sri Lanka, which actually was not more, more than a highlight for MIT, it was a highlight for the country, where the country was going through a very significant crisis at the time, where queues were building up in, in fuel stations for more than six days, productivity was lost, and I think us partnering with Dialog, with ICTA, being able to bring that Fuel Pass app, or what we fondly known as the QR code app now, uh, to light, where these queues just vanished overnight, um, and productivity being restored, it was a significant contribution to the country, um, and a significant effort from the, the team at MIT ESP as well. Um, so in addition to that, we actually uh, uh, focus a lot on employee development this year. Uh, a lot of investments went into uh, employee engagement, employee development. We rebuilt our, our uh, intern programs. Uh, at, at peak, we had about 80 interns joining us this year, uh, uh, joining various teams within the company. Uh, we invested into a lot more training, uh, uh, which was uh, somewhat neglected due to the pandemic and so on. So we started investing into leadership training, a lot more technical training, face-to-face -face training. Uh, that we were not able to do uh, previously. We did a lot more employee engagement activities, a uh, lot more fun stuff uh, to engage our employees, um, uh, and including you know, being able to go on our, our annual employee trip, which we haven't been able to do for three years. Um, we started a graduate training program this year with SLIT um, as uh, one of the first of uh, many programs that we'll be running with uh, many other institutes as well. Uh, so this program basically where we fund uh, the students while they go through their uh, graduate pro program um, at the university and, and they get the opportunity to work here with us now for two, or two years or three years. So the advantage to them is they have in a fully funded program by the time they come out of these programs they have two or three years of experience as well and, and, this, and creating a, effectively a talent pool not only for MIT ESP but only for, also for the, the industry as well. Uh, another highlight is us moving into this building uh, that you are seeing here now. Uh, we were for 16 years at uh, what was fondly known as Glass House uh, 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 and uh, the team, you know, obviously a lot, lot of memories staying there for 16 years but it was time uh, with our, our, the increasing uh, capacity requirement for the company for us to move into a new home. Um, so this is a, a significant milestone and achievement for us as well, uh, which uh, is now ho uh, housing a lot of our team here. Um, so last year when we completed 25 years in the company, uh, we took the step of launching our own foundation. Uh, we call it the Million Parts Foundation um, uh, and it was launched for us to have a more formal platform uh, to do more charitable activity for our people to, to do service. Uh, uh, to the underprivileged uh, using a formal platform. It's not something new for the company as well. Uh, the people at MIT have been doing a lot of this uh, for the longest time. But now we have a formal platform where we can come together again with our employees, with our partners, with our principals uh, uh, through that platform now to do a lot more projects uh, and, and, and provide voluntary time as service to people. Um, so I think Despite all the challenges that we've gone through, we managed to complete 14 projects, mostly with students, with schools, where we took technology to the schools, we helped them uh, uh, enhance the infrastructure in those schools, uh, the facilities in those schools, giving them books, giving them uh, you know, better, better facilities uh, and, and, and you know, sports equipment so that they can participate in, in a lot more activities and so on. So um, as a few of the highlights uh, uh, that we've gone through uh, over the year, um, uh, especially given the significant challenges that we spoke of earlier. So the last few months was all about navigating the crisis uh, and making sure that we get through this situation very successfully. Um, and I think we've done that uh, to a great extent and we are now confident that we want to get back on the growth path that we set out for ourselves uh, one year ago. Uh, if you talk to our customers and our partners, like what you hear from them very consistently is that why they like working with Million MIT ESP is the positive attitude, the responsiveness, the flexibility, and most importantly, the trust that we build uh, with these customers. For some customers, more than 20 years. We have so many customers working with us for more than 20 years. So all that put together along with the skill sets that we bring to the table is what clearly differentiates us. And this is what we think 
we can now take to the market, take take international layers uh, to our global customers. And this is what has really helped us uh, re-emerging and, and, and reinvent businesses here in Sri Lanka, regardless of the sector. This is the story that we want to now take to the world, uh, having done it very successfully for 27 years in Sri Lanka. And we are confident that we have what it takes, we have the right team, and we know what to do next. And this is what we will be focusing on for the next 12 months. As we expand our services across the world, our commitment to driving excellence continues to grow stronger. We are excited about the future and look forward to creating technology solutions that bring positive change in the lives of our customers, our team and the community.